Hello guys and welcome back to another video today. Another video talking about fake jerseys. I think I found probably one of the most authentic looking fake jerseys that I have ever seen in my life. It's uh, it's an amazingly good copy of a real jersey. Let me go get it real quick. Here we have th this is the fake jersey. This is a fake NBA jersey that I got from DH Gate. Now the main thing that you know with these fake jerseys is usually they are stitched. This is actually heat pressed. I'm sure I've got some kind of b-roll going over this or something, but just to hold it up to the camera. That that's not screen printed. That's not stitched. That's heat pressed. This is actually heat pressed on. This looks like an authentic Fanatics jersey. The side here, screen printed, just like an authentic Fanatics jersey. Back here, this is the NBA logo, screen printed, just like an authentic Fanatics jersey. The lettering and everything matches. This is an Aaron Neesmith jersey. Uh, the jock tag, perfect. With the swing man on the side, everything. The only thing, the one thing on this that tells you that it is fake is the Nike logo. You can tell it is not screen printed like the actual jerseys. It is heat pressed. That is the only thing on this that gives it away that it is fake. See, it even has this on on the back or on on the tag. And it's got the right size, right label and everything. And on the inside, it doesn't have like that cardboard or anything. This looks like the inside of an actual NBA jersey. The only thing that I found that at the time when I opened it that made it look back or look fake was that for some reason along here, there was like a little tag that said large and it had like some white thread that was holding it there. I just pulled the thread out. I didn't even have to get a, a seam ripper or anything. You could just pull the thread out and take the little paper thing out but if you don't believe me that this looks real let me just go get one of my real ones that I got from Fanatics this right here is an authentic Fanatics not Fanatics branded but I bought it from Fanatics O'Shea Brissett Pacer jersey I know it's a different color but the only white one uh, the only white jersey that I have is a Fanatics branded Jakar Sampson so it's screen printed and not heat pressed this is a better example of what it looks like but I mean as you can tell the the spacing is similar like the letters aren't any aren't out of whack or anything the the logo again the only difference is that this Nike logo is screen printed as you can tell in the back like everything on this looks the same even you know that you see this little seam right here that a lot of jerseys have or at least that the Pacers jerseys have even has it on here uh, I guess the only other difference is this little logo down here this thing it does not have that on this jersey but even the fabric even the fabric I will show a side-by-side -side picture even the fabric looks the exact same oh my goodness like this is an amazingly accurate replica and it costs about $32 this was $140 you know that even that that silver thing on the this white thing on the back here it goes and it ends around right there That is even on here. This is amazingly accurate for no reason whatsoever. So even the ones that are stitched, you can argue that are accurate because the authentic NBA jersey is the ones that are like 200, 300 something dollars. Those are stitched. Those are stitched. I have one of those. I only have one that's like the, you know, on court kind of ones that they wear. Uh, or at least one that's recent. I have a few throwback ones that are older that are stitched and stuff. But that that's because they're cheap on eBay. But I have my Victor Old Depot City Edition one from 2019. That one is like that stitched and everything. But, like, if we're being real. 
Who is going to go and customize an authentic NBA jersey to get an Aaron Neesmith jersey? See, that's not super believable. I know it's not super believable that someone would have an Aaron Neesmith jersey in the first place, but I mean, like, who would have the money to do that? I don't look rich, so I can't really pass as someone who has the money to do that. So, this is much more believable. This is a lot more believable if you're trying to pass a fake jersey off as real. I mean, you guys know me. I don't care if jerseys are fake or real. Like, if you if you have a jersey, I don't care if it's fake or real. I consider it just as value or just as, like, it counts all the same. It doesn't matter if a jersey is fake, if a jersey is real. You have a jersey. You're repping a player. You're repping a team. As long as the jersey looks somewhat decent, it's fine. I don't care. I'm going to count it the same. I don't care. I have fake jerseys in my collection that I wear just as much as my real ones. I don't care. They're all jerseys. And if you treat them right, like me, they last just as long. Now, I haven't put this through the wash before or anything like that, so I don't know if it comes off in the wash or anything, but like this doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off easy. It feels the same as this. Um, another thing that you can kind of tell where it feels fake and this is by feeling is if you feel the number on the back it feels thicker than this number on the back but only by a little bit it only slightly feels a bit thicker like see how easily this this kind of bends like this you know whereas this is not as easily bent bent need to enunciate my words like if I'm holding this up the sizing I do believe is a bit different just for personal reference I know I probably have some b-roll going uh, that too is about the same actually that too is the same size I know this is really rough, but that too is about the same size. So the only thing that you can tell that is different is that maybe these numbers are a bit skinnier and that the Nike logo is heat pressed on and not screen printed. Anything else you have to feel, you have to feel the numbers in order to know. This is insanely accurate. If you want to know where I got it from, just ask. I'll give you the link. Um, I don't frown upon it. Buying fake jerseys, it's the same as buying a real jersey to me. It's just the only reason that I see people buying fake jerseys is because they don't have enough money for a real one, which is completely fine. It's fine if you don't have enough money for a real one. Go out and buy a fake one so you can rep your team and rep the players that you want to rep. Like, not everybody has the money to afford real jerseys. I completely understand that. It is expensive. These jerseys out here are way too expensive now. Fanatics has cornered the market and made these jerseys way too expensive to buy. So if you want to go out and buy a fake jersey, I completely support you because I do the same thing sometimes. These jerseys are way too expensive now. So if we went on a little mini boycott and bought fake jerseys instead of real ones sometimes, I think that would be perfectly fine. See you guys next time. As always, I'm not funny, and I think I've got some snot uh, in my nose because I'm sick. So that's nice. See you guys next time. In case the hoes are wondering, yes, I am Burger Burger from Twitter. <laughs>